No one may pass in talk. Hmm. Them say that my yegun, that man to the talk. It do the talk. Say my yegun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they tip money in buck. One man picking, they the street, they hawk. Still, them talk, say, make we no talk. But thank God, say, my yegun don't come. So my people make you love. Oh, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. my yegun don't come. Oh, yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. Hello there. I am Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. It is Mayegun Live. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for joining me. Please take your time to read uh, the caption of the broadcast or read beyond the caption of the broadcast. Read the description of the broadcast. Hear it. Invite your friends, invite your not so friendly friends, your frenemies. Tell them that my ego today. Scott, all of now. Tell them. I need I uh, a Fioli and a Mefioli's uh, crime, they will be child's play to what uh, Kadibi, Abi Kadobi Kadozo will do to you. you propaganda Lange, eh? propaganda vibes, and inshallah, Tifnubu no mix. <laughs> Hang on, did somebody say no volume? You better copy it to it now if the volume is not working. Or you might check your own audio. Thank you so much. Today, thank you very much for joining me uh, once again. Uh, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. It is Mayegun live. Uh, we miss uh, our midday broadcaster today simply because I don't know if you notice, eh? I think I've got a swell, you know, a swollen uh, cheek here, right? So I was having some uh, toothache earlier today, but it wasn't like my teeth. Something that's like, uh, you know, my gum. And, you know, I had to use some painkillers and some of them makes me feel drowsy that I had to sleep. I think I still have the, the remnants in my system. So 
Uh, that was why we are not on earlier today. But I've come with uh, a better loaded uh, package tonight. And if you have shared the broadcast already, thank you. I don't know if you probably saw the news earlier today. It started from last night. And majority of you probably didn't see it as propaganda. I mean, true to it, I actually wanted it to be true. Because even me, I wanted to see, I want to see, uh, you know, Nigerians kind of have a win. Like you have a break. You know what I mean? With this whole thing happening, eh? the whole storm that you have to deal with every day, especially the economy. So even me somehow wanted the news to be real so that you can have something that you can say, okay, yeah, at least that's, that's a break. And what am I talking about? Last night, Kadobi Kadoso and their propaganda machine, they went to work. And it was to alert Nigerians that, listen, the problem of uh, backlogs, you know, backlog of unpaid, <clears throat> you know, uh, money of uh, investors in Nigeria, especially the international airline operators in Nigeria. So let me give you the backstory. On that book, Wari, uh, these international airlines, they signed a deal. And in that deal was, they will come and trade in Nigeria. Okay? And whenever it is time for them to recoup their profits back to their headquarters, which is their own country, the money will be converted to dollars. And the Central Bank of Nigeria was a partner in guaranteeing that investment, you know, when they say investors should come to your country, investor, investors should come to your country. There are some agreements. It's not just coming in to do the business. There are some certain things. Everyone who comes to do business in your country, they are coming from somewhere. They started from somewhere. They profit or whatever they make. And their intention in your country is not to help your country. It's for them eh, to make profits. And in the process, they may be helping. Their services and other may be helping you. But Whatever they give to you is for profit. It's not charity. So at the end of the day, they will need to take this profit or their investment back to their country. So the agreement is, yes, once your money is matured, you want to take them away. So under Bokuari, these uh, airlines and some other like international businesses in Nigeria, they started having problems, problems of Forex. Normally, eh, <clears throat> when they trade in Nigeria, they trade in Naira. When you buy your ticket or airline ticket in Nigeria, it is in Naira. Abi, now if uh, you have, uh, for example, let's say an airline have uh, 500 billion Naira accumulated because the Central Bank of Nigeria of Mifiuli continue to tell them, you know, who we'll get that cover, who we'll get that cover. At some point, they were giving them fraction of uh, the money they needed to take back to their country, affecting their operations. But that was then. At a point, it finally stopped. They couldn't take their money back to their country. How can you do a business in a country and you can't take the money back uh, to your headquarters? Because that is a branch of your business. And that, eh? can actually affect other, you know, any, any, any problem with a branch can affect the other operations or you just have to shut down. So this now accumulated to what was then $10 billion. And in retaliation, these uh, companies, these airlines run back to their countries. And the one that is more prominent among those who actually retaliated, the Nigerian criminal politicians, Nigerian government under APC, they have Naira, there is Naira. 
that was the money people paid, but the central bank had to make it turn it into forex for them to take away. And that was the problem. So Dubai re responded, UAE, you know that. They had to ban visas to punish Nigerians because of this money. So when uh, Tifnumbu rigged himself in, so they took their propaganda machine to UAE. And within minutes, they announced to the world that UAE had lifted the ban on visa because Tifnumbu promised that he would clear the backlog. He would pay all the money. But do you want to know where the, these scammers, these criminals, who seems not to give a damn about the consequences of what they are doing. As long as uh, their propaganda machine eh, can run with all this falsehood, half truth, and then, uh, you know, do some of uh, some other abracadabra that will make it look like, oh, the policy seems working. Oh, Tifnubu has cleared the backlog. No, they didn't clear any backlog. Do you understand what the problem is, right? I'll tell you. When uh, this Wahala started, Naira to dollar exchange rates was 400 Naira to a dollar. Remember that APC, Egbekegbe met dollar to Naira or Naira to dollar at 145 Naira official rates to a dollar and 199 Naira to a dollar black market rate in 2015. I hope you remember that. And immediately they came in, every money they found everywhere, they looted them, right? So the airlines who had, for example, 1 million Naira, when APC came in, an exchange rate was uh, 145 Naira. You see that 1 million Naira could automatically be like around 1,500 uh, or so dollars. That'd be 1 million Naira. Somehow. Abi. So, but when APC came in, let's go forward. Where, when uh, they now make a deal with uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria that their ten billion dollars will be made available to them at the exchange rate of four hundred naira to a dollar. So four hundred naira to a dollar. So one billion naira. I mean, sorry, uh, one billion dollars. Then will mean four hundred billion naira. So with four hundred uh, billion naira, they will get one billion uh, dollars. So look at that deal that way, right? But when this Tifnumbu uh, and his Kadobi came in, they now offer that. Listen, number one, we don't even know the, we don't even know if all this money is true. So we are trying to probe and see which of the money is true, which one is not true. So how to know which money. Which of these businesses or so businesses with their bank statement, everything or showing the money? Or. So they said they want to investigate. And the template of checking which of this claim is true and which of them is not true is this. Cardo be offered to pay uh, those who are ready at the exchange rate of 1,600 Naira. Now, you know what that simply means? Mm? That means uh, to get, uh, you know, before with 400, well, sorry, with 400 billion Naira from their 10 billion dollars, with 400 billion, uh, they will get uh, 1 billion dollars, Abi. The overall 10 billion dollars you could possibly put it at 4 trillion Naira. So let's say all these international businesses and their money in Nigerian bank that they couldn't take out is a total of uh, 4 trillion, which will give them $10 billion. 
Okay. So now when you now decide to pay them at the exchange rate of 1,600 Naira to a dollar, what you are doing then is that, let me see how I can explain this uh, in my way, right? What you are doing then is that, you see $10 billion, that was $4 trillion. So what you are now saying is, we will give you $4 trillion uh, Naira. But today, eh, $1 billion, just one, is uh, 1.6 uh, trillion Naira. That is $1 billion. $1.6 uh, trillion. So which means the, the, the uh, airlines, right, they would have to convert 1.6 trillion of their money to get $1 billion. Now, if you multiply 1.6 trillion, 1.6 trillion, 1.6 trillion, I think that should be 3.2, 4.8 trillion, okay? So which means Nigeria eh, is going to give them, instead of $10 billion, Nigeria will give them somewhere, something around $3 billion. Nigeria will cancel $7 billion. Because if Nigeria should pay the ten billion dollars, go 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 go, at the one point six billion, I'm sorry, one point, I mean one thousand six hundred naira to a dollar, Nigeria will be paying about eleven point six trillion naira. Do you get that now? Oh no, not Nigeria. For these uh, airlines to get ten billion dollars, they would have to give Nigeria eleven point six trillion naira. But remember, their money was $4 trillion. If you convert it to the old rates that they agreed that they will be paid, eh, that $4 trillion Naira, Nigeria would have to pay them $10 billion. But that $4 trillion Naira, that Nigeria, you know, Nigeria is the one printing Naira, B. so that $4 trillion Naira, Nigeria is ready to now pay equivalent of the $4 trillion Naira. If they pay the equivalent of the $4 trillion Naira, eh, that means these people will collect something about $2.6 billion. So they rejected it. Do you understand? So those who agreed that just give us whatever you have. So we are not even doing business in your country anymore. Just give us anything you have. Those ones in Tifnum book, Adobe's book, those are the legitimate claim. You see those ones that won't settle for that, eh? Those are illegitimate claim. And do you know something? Ask them, how much of that four trillion naira uh, backlog are they paying? And how much is it in dollars? Ask them. It is the same thing like, see, what this businesses, what they are rejecting is what some of you know even have choice. Remember that in 2015, your 1 million Naira in 2015, I think will give you how much again? Is that not $5,000? Yeah, $5,000. So for you to get 1 million Naira, you needed $5,000 dollars now if you have put that your one million naira in your bank eh or you buy a share in nigeria i don't know how to put that to you right but let's assume that you just leave the one million naira in the bank you're not touching it and they have not deducted everything and you go back there uh in 2024 nine years after to check your one million and see how much you have made so we draw that one million naira and check today that your one million era is now worth seven hundred dollars, that'd be six hundred dollars from five thousand dollars for one million era to ordinary seven hundred dollars nine years after. That is what Nigeria, if Nobunomics, the RNG arrangement that Kadobi announced to all of you last night that their media spread all over Nigeria today. They were saying that, listen, oh, 
even though these people have four trillion naira in our bank back then it is worth 10 billion dollars but today they still have that four trillion but we are ready now to wish to exchange the money for them but that four trillion naira is now worth just 2.6 billion dollars if you are a business or a business rep would you take such deal from any country the deal that will make you forfeit 70 percent of your money it is your money oh. you've paid tax to them oh. they've deducted their taxes they've deducted everything from you you've paid what you have to pay it's just the money in their bank and the agreement that covers you is that every time you want your money they will exchange it to dollars for you it's an agreement you cannot pack naira to your country so would you forfeit over seven billion dollars and say yes we agree to a deal with uh, that is the Tifnubo number that is what they announced to you and that is why i say these people are heartless because you see clearing the backlog eh, clearing the backlog alone we actually free so many innocent families nigerians who are residing especially in uae that was the condition they gave to tifnumbu when he went there last year we will do business in your country but we don't trust your system we don't trust that way and if you check tifnumbu's video in most of the places he's been to he kept saying bring your money in your money out you will not have problem taking your money out don't worry you won't you won't have any problem when you invest in nigeria you can take your money out anytime. Why? Because that's what the UAE told him. We can't do a business in a place where, you know, our money will get stuck and we can't really get any, uh, what do you call it, any help from your court. It's like you have no real law. Eh? Everybody wants to take bribe. I'm talking about your money. So, you know, we can't, we can't work in such place. So if you really want, that's what our, our people said, you know, their businesses will be affected. Their businesses are being affected as we speak right now. Like you have $10 billion somewhere. Some people get $1 billion, some $2 billion, some, hundred, uh, some hundreds of millions of dollars. They are money. And when they left, they also left with thousands of jobs. As, I mean, as some of the people you know that were working with some of these international businesses back then, they had to, some of them had to sell whatever they can sell quickly when they saw the signal. And they left. Then the central bank governor, the central bank of Nigeria, and their propaganda machine, and their media in Nigeria, they announced to the rest of Nigeria that they have cleared the backlog. Simply because those who didn't take that bogus fraudulent uh, offer, they were called illegitimate claim. Can you even believe that? Your money. Government of the country is saying, your money, your claim is illegitimate. Your money, and then using their media to bash you, to blame you, to condemn you, to even blame you for the economic problem of Nigeria. What does any of this, how would any of this actually help Nigeria? How? How would any of this create trust or confidence? Like, do you really think them using media to continue to make you, like, you know, trigger you and trigger you and make you feel like something is like so they, do they not know that every now and then they continue to kill whatever even i mean whatever trust you some of you still have in them a lot of us don't have any trust in them anymore and we will never ever eh? they swear for me trust something that these criminals say are they mad eh? they say something and you are not there to scrutinize it and check it properly now, the airlines and the businesses have come out and said, no, <laughs> we did not collect any backlog from these people. It's all, it's all bollock, nonsense. And it is what it is. However, a lot of you, you are helping them. I know that I may not have so much influence on so many of you, but I will continue to remind us, Sha, that... If not for those of you in the diaspora, if not for us in the diaspora, bailing out that system through the back door, 
and somehow, somehow, after they have depleted the resources of that country, corrupted and then they use corruption to impoverish their people, eh? we have always been their target. Nigerians in the diaspora, they always, always remit money back to Nigeria. They wanted that money you are remitting back to Nigeria be sent to them, through them, so that they can give uh, our families in Nigeria the Naira. They need us to help them strengthen the Naira. There's nothing else to save the Naira. These guys are not investing in manufacturing, in electricity, in anything that could help boost their economy. If they are not borrowing, they are scheming and scheming and scheming on how to kind of get into our pockets. It seems they succeeded in the month of January and, uh, and then February. Do you know that? I love Funa. Eh, when they come on social media, they talk, say, I told you, I'm not saying you shouldn't send money to your family members. I send money to my own too. I said, when you, con when you jump on all those dear apps, transfer money, transfer money app, if anybody bring a transfer money to Nigeria app for me to advertise on my Egun's diary political, I could easily just tell them, uh, you know, show them the door because I am not going to help a corrupt system that is always looking for an easy way out. Nothing the last ever. Now, the record show that uh, Lofuda, eh, the money you transfer to Nigeria, eh, in, the, in January and in February, some of them through those uh, transfer apps, mm, they ended up in the pocket of uh, Kadobi. And without any doubt, in two months alone, they have managed to make over $1.8 billion from all of us all over the world, all of now. As the poverty is increasing in Nigeria, that is how we are sending more money, Abi. I'm not saying you shouldn't. Don't send money through their app that they will give Naira to your family members in Nigeria. Eh? Because what you are doing is you are helping them. You are, we are subsidizing Nigeria. You don't have to give money and share money to people on the streets before the money you send into that economy ended up in their pockets. The inflation has, the inflation has finished everything in that place. And um, so, is how much money a lot of us are now sending back there. So if you all send money, uh, uh, bef before you they send the uh, 200 pounds, 500 pounds, now you are sending 1,000 pounds, $2,000. In a single month, you are sending $4,000. And now you be that. So what are you doing? Kadobi and his gang, they said, if the reason why you don't want them to change money for you, you don't want to use central bank or you don't want to use bank, is because of the disparity in the exchange rate between the black market and the central bank. We can print surplus for you. Oh yeah, she that they change them for 1,600 Nairobi. We serve, we go change them for you for 1,600. In fact, we will put 10 around it's 1,610. Just send that dollar, just send it. Because the moment they honor that money you are sending, those uh, transfer apps, they have no choice. They will remit the actual dollars to Nigeria. And in two months, they have gathered over $1.8 billion. That is no money from crude oil. That is no money from taxes. That is no money from uh, uh, the foreign direct investors. This is your $100, $200, 500 riyad, eh? 2,000 randi. All this money you are sending. Adoso is now acting like a champion in Nigeria, saying the Naira is, uh, is gaining its strength again because Kadobi is a uh, eh, economist. Meanwhile, Kadobi is using the corrupt system that you have in Nigeria and he himself and his friends taking a shot at the Naira when they have enough dollar in their kitty. They will bring it uh, a little bit uh, down because it will be available. Now, them, they demand for Amabi. So, the mental it is gone, is back there. And you begin to say, why can't this just stay for like six months? I mean, like, for example, right? If there is uh, actually any real thing, the physical thing that you can point at and say, ah, now this, this. So, I just told you now, 
if all of us who are sending money to Nigeria stop sending that money via all those uh, transfer app, talk to your own guy, talk to your agent that is sending money for you. Ask them, if I give you this money and you're going to put the Naira in, my, in the bank account of uh, my, you know, my person, right? Are you doing that through the app? Ask your person now. Because some, some of you, eh, I know, instead of the money you are sending to reduce, now, Adobe has devised the means to say, 